Hi everybody, it's Kevin Kane here, healthcare organizer at Citizen Action of Wisconsin, and I want to talk to you a little bit about Medicaid, or Badger Care, here in Wisconsin. Of all the decisions that Scott Walker is likely to make in 2013, none is going to have a bigger impact on the state than whether Wisconsin accepts over $12 billion in federal health care reform money that is over the next decade to fill the holes in Badger Care. The cause for accepting this is so overwhelming that it really doesn't, it, it's hard to believe uh, that any responsible leader would seriously consider turning it down. It's going to guarantee hundreds of thousands of working Wisconsinites the opportunity to control their own health care decisions. It'll create thousands, 21st century jobs uh, in the health care professions, and it'll actually save the state millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, for the budget. In fact, turning down this money is nothing short of a public policy sabotage. Yet the governor is actually considering doing this. To understand why this would be so damaging, uh, some brief background is needed. Under the Affordable Care Act, the National Health Care Law, health care coverage is expanded in two primary ways here in Wisconsin. First, by building, the, uh, building competitive health marketplaces, sometimes known as exchanges, and fulfilling the holes in badger care for those who are more low income, by extending it to everyone who is under 133% of the federal poverty line. Badger care is already more generous than that for people who our parents of children, our children, caretakers, uh, but for most low-income people without children or whose children are grown up, they fall through the cracks. In fact, right now there's over 140,000 people on the Badger Care waiting list. But if Wisconsin accepted this additional federal money to help cover the uh, cost of filling the gaps in Badger Care, over 211,000 people in the state of Wisconsin will be able to qualify for Badger Care in the next 10 years, and it would effectively end the Badger Care waiting list for so many people. But the deal offered to Wisconsin under the health care reform law is so favorable that the state budget is actually set to save millions of dollars. Governor Walker's health secretary, Dennis Smith, claims that this is somehow going to be costly for Wisconsin. However, according to the reports, Wisconsin's actually set to save $248 million over the next 10 years by accepting this increased Medicaid money. Because federal government is going to cover more, higher percent of the cost of covering individuals, over 90% of the cost. And additionally, Wisconsin's set to save another $247 million on top of that through the cost of uncompensated care. Because more people are set to have coverage, fewer people are going to go to the emergency room and be unable to pay. And this pushes costs onto all of us when they do. In total, Wisconsin is set to save over $495 million over the next 10 years by accepting this federal money. The governor does not have to introduce his, his plan uh, until February, along with the state budget. So there's still time for him to consider the true public interest and do the right thing. Accepting the federal revenue to help cover the holes and fill the holes in Badger Care makes sense economically, makes sense financially, and it makes sense socially. We have to make sure that the governor makes the right decision on this for the state of Wisconsin and for our citizens. Here's how you can help. Help us share this video and this information and directly contact the governor by using the tools below to help share this video on Facebook, Twitter, and elsewhere, and use the, the tools available to us to make sure that the public knows what's going on and that the governor makes the right decisions.